Welcome. This demonstration is turning a hot air balloon ornament. Each of these ornaments will match, so we start out with some pretty particular measurements. Today we'll be starting out with a basswood blank, and we'll be making this small little ornament. The tools we'll need today are a parting tool, a skew, a small spindle gouge, some calipers, our story stick, with diameter gauge and radius gauge. We'll be using a wrench, a pin vise, and a pencil as well. So let's start by mounting our blank on a 3 8 inch dowel. This dowel is being held by a keyless chuck, but you could use a key chuck or a collet or even a scroll chuck with small jaws. If you're using a keyless chuck or a key chuck or a collet, you want to make sure you secure them in your lathe using a piece of threaded rod or a long bolt. We're going to bring the tail stock up and engage it into the piece, just really to give it some stability. Not so much to hold it on or uh, drive it, but just to give it some stability. Today I'm working at about 2100 RPM. Work at a speed that's comfortable for you on a project like this. You could work a little slower or a little faster. I wouldn't work much faster. I like using a skew here. A skew gives you a great cut and leaves you with a really smooth surface once you're done. Since we're starting out with a 1 3 quarter inch blank, cutting this down and getting it round will leave us right at about 1 5 eighths. We want to be a smidge over and once we're round just a couple of light passes will get us there. What's nice about a skew is it, it kind of tells you when it's round. It tells you when you've gone through that square piece of wood and made it round. Check it with your hand, you can tell it's round. We made a couple of light passes there, and that should get us to the diameter we want. We'll check that diameter using our story stick, and we can see we're just a little fat. That's really where we want to be at this point. We're going to use that story stick to mark three lines on our blank. We align the bottom of the story stick to the bottom of what is the balloon ornament. We mark our three lines one inch, one and a quarter, and two and sixteenths inch from the bottom of the ornament. At this point I like to just by hand mark these lines all the way around so I can see them really well when the blank is turning. So this is the orientation of our ornament, bottom to top. Now, we're going to use a parting tool and a wrench to part down on the bottom of the ornament about an eighth of an inch in width down to a 5 eighths diameter. The final diameter will be about a half an inch down here, but we want to leave some at this point. You can use calipers here, but I find that a wrench works really well for these fixed diameters. I don't have to adjust them. A caliper, I just grab a wrench and can measure to 5 eighths, and that's how quick we do that. Now we want to move to the top. That third line that we drew is the top of the ornament. So we're just going to quickly remove waste at the top here. removed we can now begin shaping our top. This is done with a small gouge and the technique we're using is the same technique that we use to create a bead on spindle. We're just engaging the gouge, rolling it over to its side. As we do that we lift the back of the hand. Take 
like cuts there. This is soft wood, and it's easy to wind up with a flat top if you take too much off. Let's check how we did. Again, we're going to use our story stick. You can see that we're just a little fat. We've got a nice round top to start it. So we can leave that there and we'll clean that up in a second. But now it's time to move on to that first line we drew. We're going to create a straight diagonal line from that first line down to the base of the orange. So we do this by removing the waist and start to create a diagonal line go from that third line right to the base. You see we cut right into that base and this is why we left it a little thick. And that straight line should cut right into that base and yield about a half an inch diameter bottom. So we've got that nice straight line. Let's see how we did. With a set of calipers, check the work. It should be right at about a half. Be a little fat because you will be sanding. Now as we did the top rolling a bead, we're going to roll a bead here. We move to that middle line and we roll a bead towards the bottom. This bead simply rolls into that diagonal. By rolling the bead this way, we now give the ornament that nice ball shape that a hot air balloon has. Do a little clean up here. Give that ornament this nice hot air balloon shape. Two nice radiuses. Now we can move the tailstock out of the way and remove the waist from the top. ever so lightly. Taking very fine cuts, here. very, very fine cuts. Not aggressive at all. Should have developed a pretty nice round sphere here. Let's check our work again with the story stick and the diameter gauge. Nice. Our goal here is to be about within a sixteenth on that top. You can see we're a little fat yet, and that's right where we want to be. So we'll just clean up this center and this hip a little bit here. Just a little closer to our perfect half a circle. Really light cuts here. Really light cuts. Let's check it. We're about a 16th. We're right where we want to be. This basswood is really soft. And our final little waste removal is going to be with a piece of sandpaper. If you're really good, you'll be starting with 240 or 320 here. If you've got some lines you need to take care of, 180 will do the trick. But again, you want to go softly. Not too much pressure. Basswood is really soft. So we're using the sandpaper just to get rid of any little high spots and keep that ball its nice round shape. It's really better to check your work off at this point. You don't want to remove too much wood. See that it's getting pretty round and it's about time to check it again here. Oh, we're 
we're certainly within that 16, but we can do a little better. So let's just remove just a little more from that center point. And one more check. Perfect. We're right where we want to be. Nice round one and five eighths inch ball. It's a little bit more clean up here, and then the last thing that we'll need to do here is drill our hole for the screw eye. We're using a very small bit here and a little pin vise. This, this hole needs to be one thirty second of an inch or smaller. Don't sweat it if you don't have it. We'll do that before we hand the ornaments off. Simply stop the lathe and screw in the little eye for the top of this horn. final check and we can see that we're well within the tolerances that we wanted for this particular ornament. Let's look at another one. They should look like twins at this point. Thanks for watching. Be safe and keep turning. Have fun with this project.